Hello, family in Jesus Christ. And for those that don't know Jesus, I love to share the gospel with you, the good news that Jesus loves you. <clears throat> Jesus is God, the Son. He was sent down from heaven. He died for you. And he rose again on the third day. If you put your faith in Jesus, you will be saved. There's nothing you can do to earn your salvation. It's a free gift. And if you believe on Jesus, the Bible says, all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Today, I wanted to share a dream with you that the Lord gave me on August 20th, 2022. This dream was about the invasion of America. And... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to um, read it to you. I wrote it down. The Lord gave me this dream, um, and it was like a scene playing out from a movie. I saw it all, and then I woke up, and while I was laying there, the Lord replayed the dream over to me, all the scenes, and then he sm spoke to each part of the dream and told me what what um, it represented and added some other commentary. So I'll share the dream as I saw it, as the Lord originally showed it to me. And then um, I will give you what he had given me after I woke up. So then in the dream, I was um, by my childhood home. I was just a, a couple miles outside the home and I was looking upon the landscape and the freeways going along the, the landscape and I saw cars and um, it was peaceful. I saw cars going down the freeway and then I heard World War sirens, World War One, World War Two bomb sirens going off and I heard um, a voice. Um, it was a woman's voice and um, I wasn't sure who the woman was, if it was our governor or um, uh, some other leader. And she said, everyone go downtown, go, go take shelter at the conference center. Um, and she said something is, we need to take cover because of an attack. And, um, it was something to do about a retaliation. And I thought she said something about the UK, the United Kingdom. They're retaliating because of what the United Kingdom had done. Um, that part was a little unclear, but the next part, I was at my parents' house. It just, the scene just changed. And I was leading um, uh, some sheep up up the hill. And I had grown up with, with sheep in my neighbor's yard and they were my neighbor's sheep and I was leading them up the hill and I felt very peaceful and very safe. And I started to go up the hill and then boom, my attention was drawn to the sky and I saw fighter jets and I knew they were American fighter jets. They were in formation and they were coming from an angle across the sky and I saw them flying up. And then from the other side in the opposite direction, flying towards the American fighter jets were um, fighter, fighter jets from other countries. I didn't know um, if it was China or Russia or um, other countries, but they were they were started firing on the American fighter jets and um, they were, were exploding. The American fighter jets were all exploding and it looked like the other country's jets were intact. Um, and I felt, uh, as I was watching this dream, I felt extreme sorrow and I cried out to the Lord and I was like, Lord, help them. And I knew that they were dying there. They were being shot down. And, um, then the scene changed again, again back to the scene change I was going back up to the hill leading the sheep up the hill and I felt peace again and I right after that I made I was at the top of the hill with the sheep and um, I got to the top of the hill and I felt felt oh I'm home my house is at the top my house was at the top of the hill and then I, I felt peace and then boom it changed again I just saw scenes of chaos everywhere and then it all 
fell over a blanket of dust. Dust fell over the scene and, and I didn't know what it was at first. And I thought, was that dust? Was that a, a you know, part of a bomb? Was that um, something else? I didn't quite know. I woke up after that and I was um, extremely um, overwhelmed and um, very overwhelmed. And even when I retell this dream, I feel overwhelmed every time I <laughs> think about it. And um, I said, Lord, what was that? What, what, what did you just show me? And he replayed the dream. And I knew that the sheep represented his church, his children, those that have put their faith in him. And um, while I was leading the sheep up the hill, that was showing that he will keep his sheep safe and he will take them home. He will take them home right at or right during the beginning of this uh, attack on America. And um, the other part that he showed me, um, that he explained to me was when the fighter jets were going across the sky, he really zoned in on that and um, and replayed the jets fighting and firing at each other. And his it, he, it was clear he was saying they will fight to their death and um and just my spirit was sensing that that was that was the end that was the end of america they were going to fight to their death and um they were going to lose um i went back to sleep after this dream after the lord explained this to me and i woke the, up the next morning and um was still very shaken um i told my husband I had this dream from the Lord. It's really shaken me. I'm going to have some quiet time and I'll tell you about it later. And I was having time with the Lord and just reading his word and saying, Lord, please help me <laughs> discern this more. Was this, you know, you just don't always know sometimes in your own flesh. You're like, what, what did I see? And, and, you know, it's our fleshly nature to, to question and to doubt and, even though we don't want to sometimes, even though we know it's the Lord. And so I just asked the Lord, Lord, please show me in your word what, um, what can you like help, help me, um, discern this. What is there scripture you can show me? And, um, he led me to a verse in Jeremiah, Jeremiah seventeen thirteen. Those who turn away from you will be written in the dust because they have forsaken the Lord, the spring of living water. And I believe that was at the end of the dream. The part that I really hadn't understood yet was the dust. It was dust that was falling over the scene. And and that was confirmation for me of seeing that verse, um, him showing me that verse. And um, there is another um, verse that um, I was led to just the other day. And today is uh, September um, 29th, I believe, 2022. And there's another verse in Jeremiah um, that says, uh, talking about Israel entering into judgment. And it's from Jeremiah 2.13. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water. They have dug their own cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold any water. And I, I truly believe that the Lord is coming um, back for his, he's coming for his church. I believe the rapture, the catching away of the church will happen before uh, his judgment will fall. And I believe it's going to start, um, well, I believe the World War Three has already started and I believe it, it's going to continue to escalate in the coming months. And I do believe that it could be very soon um, in the coming months that the Lord um, raptures his church because things are escalating extremely quickly and it really could be any day, any day. Um, there's other verses the Lord has given me about judgment and in, in his word, just, um, speaking of judgment that's coming. And years ago before this war has started with Russia, um, I've had dreams of Russian troops being, on the ground in America, and I had written them down. I didn't think much of it, 
but um, not until this war started and and things have escalated, I realized I believe there were dreams from the Lord and showing um, him showing me what was going to happen here soon. And the Lord has been giving many brothers and sisters in Christ dreams of the rapture, dreams of judgment of America, dreams of Chinese and Russian troops um, uh, invading America. And I believe the Lord does this to glorify himself. And he says in the last day, he's, he's going to pour out his spirit um, upon all flesh. Um, this is that in the book of Joel. And in John 14, 29, he says, I have told you now before it happens, so that when it happens, you will believe. Um, he told things that were going to happen to him, to the disciples. So when it did happen, the disciples would know that the Lord is speaking. The Lord is the only one that knows the future. And... Um, and we, we don't. Just like Daniel, he was given dreams from God and he said that God is the one that the revealer of dreams and, and you know, when it comes to pass, that's how you really know that that's from the Lord, um, especially when it lines up with his word. Um, there's a couple other verses I wanted to just share that he's just given me about... Um, coming judgment um let's see um sorry trying to find it well i've written them down i think okay there's a couple more um, by the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. Second Peter 3, 7. Uh, this is from Isaiah 29, 6. Suddenly, in an instant, the Lord Almighty will come with thunder and earthquake and great noise with windstorm and tempest and flames of a devouring fire. Um, this is Isaiah 61, 2, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. There's one more I um, wanted to share from Revelation that the Lord had led me to today. Um, uh, Revelation 8, 5, then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar and hurled it on the earth and there came per peals of thunder rumblings flashes of lightning and an earthquake but i just pray lord i just pray that for those that are watching this video i pray that they'd be encouraged to know that you are coming soon and that they would just hold on and keep telling people that you are coming keep telling people the gospel especially the good news that uh, you have saved them. You died on the cross and uh, you rose again and you've forgiven all their sins and that all that come to you, Lord, all that are weary and heavy laden, you will give them rest, rest for their souls. And um, uh, thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Please help us to hang on and to do your work until the end. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.